Evening YouTube, the Dirty Harry here with his stick on the Rock's return. My stick, my thoughts, how I feel about it. Now anyone who knows me knows I've been a hardcore Rock Mark since Rocky Maivia. Since the nation, the domination, blah, 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 all that. And people also know I'm a huge CM Punk Mark. Check the old videos. I was rocking the t-shirt, all that shit. I was practically sucking CM Punk's dick on my vlog. No homo. So when these two go at it on the mic, CM Punk owns the rock. Which is rare, in my opinion. Let me also say that it's sad, really, that Punk can hold a title for that long. And it takes the rock to come back for him to finally be the focus of the show. You know, it's a bit sad, but at the same time, I mean, as a fan, you get, you're getting cookie crumbs fed to you, so you, you accept it, you know. And also, about the people saying that, you know, The Rock with the cookie puss and the corny jokes and all that, it's like, well, what do you people expect, really? This is The Rock on the mic. You know, the guy who says, Rudy Pooh, Candy Ass, Smackdown Hotel, that's his whole thing. You know, if you want someone hardcore, hard charging, I'm going to bust your face in, then do Triple H versus CM Punk. Go watch those promos and shit. You know, The Rock, he's going to do his thing because that's his thing. But the problem was tonight, CM Punk had already, he put the bar way up there. There was no beating that promo. Once he came out there and he, he basically came out and just ripped WWE management the fans, the whole way the wrestling business works as a popularity contest, he ripped that whole shit to shreds. And that wasn't a fucking pipe bomb, man. That was a fucking Moab, man. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. Punk got it done on the mic. And uh, for you uh, John Cena dick riders, um, yeah, Cena never hang. He didn't even hang in there against The Rock. Punk topped The Rock on the mic tonight. And that's a rare thing to see. You... You rarely see anyone top the rock on the mic. I can think off the top of the head, I've seen Austin do it. Maybe uh, maybe Triple H a few times, but nah, Austin's the only person I can say ever flat out beat the rock on the mic, ever. You know, you if you got something better than that, then hey, feel free, write it down there. But damn, man, you know, the rock didn't do bad on the mic. Don't, don't misinterpret what I'm saying. He didn't do bad on the mic. You know, what he said on the mic was good, you know. He said the usual things you expect The Rock to say, you know. But I'm I'm happy he didn't say uh, trending, 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 because the whole Twitter thing's been dead for a long time. I'm excited The Rock is back. I'm excited to, to see this match. Um, I would, I don't know. Because the thing is, I, I want Punk to win. I want Punk to win, but it's like, you already know what WWE's going to do any fucking way. They're going to throw the strap on the big movie star, and we're going to get Rock Cena 2, and, man. But let me talk about Punk's promo, and why I liked it so much better. Punk came out there, and he didn't just bash WWE management. That's not all he did, you know, because anyone can go to their job and talk about how much their job sucks, you know. The the thing that got me is Punk went in. You know, he went in. He took the fact that they're calling his championship rank a modern era miracle, and he basically, he fucking stumped out Bruno San Martino's reign right there. He stumped out Hulk Hogan's reign. He, he went in on everybody, man. It was just, this was the CM Punk, the rebel, that we cheered for until after they, you know, started making him a coward. You know, Eve did a little talk to him and I won't respect. I'm going to beat up Jerry Lawler and I'm going to call fat girls fat and all this shit. No, CM Punk was back to the CM Punk that I was cheering for a year ago. That badass punk, even though he was still a heel, you know, he was still going in telling the people, you know, doing classic heel stuff. You don't matter. You're a bunch of puppets, et cetera, et cetera. But it was, it felt real. 
coming from him. You know, these last few months, they haven't felt real. It's it's like he hasn't really been putting it out there, you know, like, like he did tonight. And if he was saving it, then, hey, you know, it was nice to – this was one of those moments where you sat down and you watched it. And while you were watching it, you had to seriously go, is this really happening? This is really happening, right? And then you see, you know, The Rock, you know, he drops Punk at the end, gets revenge for, uh, you know, Punk GTS and him and all that. And then it's like, that shit just happened. That was pretty fucking awesome. That was amazing. Shit was epic. Damn. Why don't we get moments like that more often? Because it's, you know, it's WrestleMania season, you know, or should I call it, you know, Rocky season. That's how it's been. You know, the last three years, you know, January comes around, The Rock comes out, and you bring a few Hall of Famers and guys from the Attitude Era back. We get suckered in, WrestleMania happens, Extreme Rules happens, and then the writers get lazy. I just, um, I, maybe I'm just being cynical, man. Maybe I need to stop listening to Marilyn Manson or some shit. I don't know. What the fuck? But... Raw, I didn't even watch the rest of the show, to be honest. And based on what uh, everyone else has said, I didn't miss much. You know, I, I watched it just to see Punk go on against The Rock on the mic. You know, Ryback, I'm not a Ryback fan at all. You know, the Goldberg clone, the Gilbert clone, as I'm going to call him. Broke-ass Goldberg, but... <sighs> I hope Punk doesn't lose the strap to The Rock. But if he did, I'd understand why they did it. But um, it was nice to just sit back tonight and just enjoy what was on my screen. It was nice to see John Cena come into the ring, have a match, do his little thing, and he's off my screen because he's not the champ. You know, it was nice to see the champion be the focus of the show. You know, I think that was the big difference between tonight and the rest of the year that we, we just hated so much this last year. You know, the champion was the focus of the show. And, yeah, it's because The Rock's back. That's the only reason they're giving Punk airtime. You know, CM Punk, he's got that, that Denzel Washington type of character in the movie. And hear me out on this. If you watch all of Denzel's movies, his best movies are when he's the co-star. You know, not not the main guy. You know, Malcolm X is probably the only exception to that. But the rest of his movies, where he's a co-star, you know, he's not on the screen, you know, more than anybody else or his best things. And I think maybe Punk may have a little bit of that, too. You got to pair him with the right guy because these last few months have been terrible. You know, the, the AJ, Kane, and Daniel Bryan thing, that was cool. I enjoyed it. You know, a lot of people didn't like it. You know, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Jericho feud, but after that, it just went, it went down south. You know, once we hit right back, it just, it nosedived. You know, it's nice to see CM Punk hasn't lost his edge. You know, it was, I had to literally sit down and think, did he just beat the rock on a mic? Did he just do that? And I was like, yeah, he did. He did. You know, rock came out, called him cookie puss. He you got the fans cheering and all that, you know. And, you know, maybe the, the little Jimmys, the little kids will go, oh, you know, Rocky, yeah. And they'll finally cheer for him, even though they were sucking John Cena's dick last year, you know. But, you know, that's how kids are. I'm not going to hate on them for it, even though I kind of just did. But, you know, whatever. I'm, uh, I'm pulling for Punk to win. I'm entertained by what I watch. And I think that that's the, the big thing right now. Wrestling's enjoyable to a point where I don't have to analyze everything where I don't have to say oh They they turned the mic the wrong way, you know rock raised the wrong eyebrow You know, I don't I don't have I didn't feel the need to do that. I felt this is special. This is something great Just enjoy it You know And um, I'm looking forward to this uh, feud and I hope it just Man, I don't know how they're going to top that tonight. I really don't. You know, fucking Punk went in, man. He went in. You never saw John Cena hold his own against The Rock on the mic. You saw The Rock hold back 
on the mic to let Cena get some in on the mic. But tonight, you saw him go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, they both went in on each other, but Punk fucking killed him. Especially when he quoted Nas. He said, your arms are too short to box with God. I was like, oh, yeah, he fucking, yeah. He fucking on the rock with that. You know, I hope, uh, I hope, uh, Nas is kicking him a tweet or some shit or something. I'm like, yeah, motherfucker, I know where you got that line from. You know, it, it was it was badass though. So when he when he quoted Nas, that's when I was like, own. I don't know how the Rock's gonna come back from that. Just owned him. I can't say enough good things about that promo. I wouldn't watch the whole show, but I checked the uh, TLC match. I heard it was pretty good. I'm actually about to go check it now. But uh, good stuff. Love the fact that Punk is the focus of the show, and wasn't a cowardly bitch tonight. They actually made him be a badass again. 